us, we must pursue it. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region, which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Irritated declaration. There you are. It has been extremely difficult to track you down, Jedi. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. Unnecessary clarification. We merely wish to cripple your vessel. Once we tracked your coordinates, we were able to deploy several droids in this location. Probing query. We are, however, curious as to why you chose to come to the remnants of the Polar Telos irrigation system. There is nothing here that our instruments can detect. Eager threat. But we are looking forward to extracting your motives for coming here when we place you in torture restraints. Self-evident answer. Wherever you try to run, we will be there, armed and ready. Rhetorical query. So the query you have posed to us is one we put to you. What are you doing here, we wonder? Chiding statement. Oh, Jedi. There are as many of us as are needed to capture or kill our targets. Egotistical boast. And there are far more of us than any one Jedi. Destroy one of us, and more shall rise from the wreckage. Unnecessary threat. And our attack protocols are more than a match for you and your allies.
dated declaration. There you are. It has been extremely difficult to track you down, Jedi. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communic- Unnecessary-
Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current deep, deeper to its source. Stop! 
Mr. Ah! Ah, with the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah, and there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Adam. If she is a Jedi, she will forgive. And if she is not, she will not care. You can't tell her. Please. I'm asking you. I don't want her to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten, but there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this woman we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve her until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten, you will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. No game of Dejaric can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the Force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? Th no. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Yet here you are. Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? Why? Because you turned your back on us, and the Order. You followed Revan to war against the Mandalorians, the very war that made Revan a Lord of the Sith, and ruined you. The Republic asked the Jedi Order for aid against the Mandalorians. That much is true. 
Yet that aid did not mean rushing into battle, giving in to aggression, your hate, your passions. You sought adventure, you hungered for battle, you could not wait to follow Revan to war. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the center stone. I had kept, so I would never forget. Indeed, a lightsaber is the mark of a Jedi. When you turned your back on the Order, it was not yours anymore. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it, so I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. Become a Jedi again? That is a thing far out of reach. But I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression, by serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for war. And it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way. And you turned on us. Without you and the other fallen Jedi to support them, to feed their lust for war, Revan and Malak's crusade would have been over before it began. I know you betrayed the Jedi teachings. All that you had been taught, you threw at your feet, crushed them beneath your heel. The Jedi teachings require we examine our actions. Acting without reflection is not our way. There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim. In fact, quite the opposite. A physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in... Th Thank you. 
You do not know... How dare you? The Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave, and Malachor V is where you should have died! You see shadows where there are none, and hate where there is none. You are blind, as always. I tire of fighting with you. You lust for war, and you always will, and you have succeeded in distracting me from my questions. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the Council was correct, then why are you here? Your concern is noted. Your friends have not been harmed. They have been detained for their safety. I find it unusual that you are traveling with others again. I had thought you had forsaken the company of others after the war. Or is that why you are here? Your ship? Ah, the Ebon Hawk. It is not your ship. Unless... You are admitting to the destruction of the Paragas mining facility. Ah, an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking. Putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across 20 other worlds. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds devastated by the Sith will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. You? If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. I said I was the last of the Jedi, Exile, and I did not speak falsely. There are others who were once Jedi, but no longer. They will not take action against this threat. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go, just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove her, mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile reminded me of something. I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I've never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. 
The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself. But not now. She will never make me doubt myself again. But now... Now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Why have you approached me? You will find them in the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. They were caged for their safety, until we could determine your intent, exile. Atris cautioned us against your tactics, fearing that your allies would create a distraction. Your companions gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. He has had some Ichani training. He masks it well, but when you are in danger, his mask dropped into a stance we know well. I do not know. The Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. It would be wise to know those you travel with. Did you find what you came for? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students. And this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. No, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls, trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well, even if they were Force-sensitive. Invade the mind of another. It is not something done carelessly, or when there is nothing to be gained. Plans are fragile things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the Force. Very well. Let us depart. <sighs> He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. I'm sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use.
Very well, General. I will await your arrival. If it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid, says you. Well, now that we're off that Dejaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. machine saying. We seem to have found it. Do you know why we have called you here? As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last?
You refuse to hear us. You have shut us out. And so have shut yourself to the galaxy. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Much defiance in that one. You were correct, Kavar. When she was here, I felt it. It was as if she was not there, more like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. She has lost herself. She is no Jedi. She walked Revan's path, but she was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code, and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. She has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let her depart. She will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with her, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let her go because we must. Where she travels, she carries her destination with her. Malachor V should have been her grave. You saw it in her walk, and in the Force. It was as if she was already dead. No. Not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and she cuts like a blade through it. We should have told her the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years we will call her before us and explain what happened to her, and how she may be healed. Until then, she must accept her journey. But she may never discover the truth. And she will never know why we cast her out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but you know that. I don't know, General. But, whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. I spent a lot of time around Jedi during the war. 
None of them would let me take their lightsaber apart, but I did learn about their construction. We need a power cell, emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. Well, check it again. It can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. Well, whatever you call that thing on your... head. Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you, too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. I am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Good. Now let's get started. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. I'll bet. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place.